a good bicep movement. You probably notice a lot of people do these in the gyms now. They finish on these like this. Really squeezes the bicep really good, the lower bicep. A little bit of the forearm. You can hold two plates or the more plates you hold, the harder the grip gets, but it's a pretty good movement to finish on. Sometimes I super sever it with hammer curls, it gets you right between here and here. It's a good finisher. It's not bad. What can you say? Are they pumped enough? No. Nah. They got one of these bicep measure ones, huh? <laughs> Give me a look. Let me see first. See if it's worth filming. Turn your camera off for a minute. <laughs> I don't think it's worth filming. That has it turned off. I didn't hear it go click. Click. <laughs> 30 inches. That's perfect. Did you stretch it? Huh? You turn that around the front. There you go. That's 21 there and it's not pumped up. Now when it's pumped, buy and try, it's about 22. There we go. Down to 20 like that. Look at that. You could have brought me a cheating tape measure where you can... <laughs> The old ones your mother uses for sewing. <laughs> what they used to do sometimes at photo shoots, I'll show you. When you see some guys who had big arms and they weren't really that big, they'd actually get the tape measure in the back and sometimes do this and sticky tape it like that. Then they'd put it around their arm. So I'd say 21 inches when the guy's arm was probably 18, 19. They'd just sort of fold it in at the back there so that would be behind their arm like that. And then we'd pull it around and go, wow, 22 inch arm. Well, I never had to do that. I even measured them once on video at a FIBO somewhere and the guy was surprised I did it because most pros won't because they'll say my arms are such and such and <laughs> you put a tape measure on it, it's like, oh, well, then I say, well, I'm carb depleted right now. So, <laughs> yeah, but I've never had a problem because I never lied about them. So. And what was the biggest they've been? Uh, 24. Well, that's only when I was heavier, so I said normally they sit around 22 and they're fully pumped, a little bit over, 22 and a half, but if they bulk up a lot, they're not around 24-ish. That's like because of a bit more fluid on them. But even contest time, it was still around 21 or three quarters. So they really lose much size, just the body fat and fluid, really. Yeah. There you go. While we're talking about this, yeah. <laughs> who was the biggest bullshitter in bodybuilding? Well, there was me, and then there's the rest. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to say because a lot of them always tell stories. You know, I think it's the thing, if somebody weighs 100 kilos, you ask them what you weigh, they're going to say 110. Contest time, you can see some of the weights on the Olympia video, it says such and such weighs 240. Wouldn't know he's probably weighing 210, but you know, no one ever weighs them. I think the Ironman, they started weighing guys, and some guys wouldn't hop on the scale. So. <laughs> Same with their arms, they just measure, like even weights, someone says, what do you bench? They might say 450, when they only bench 350. So to me, it's like, why lie about it? Who cares what your measurements are? What cares, who cares, what you can lift, whatever. So like I said, come to the contest in bodybuilding, it's how you look. You know, unless you're a power lift and you want to impress people, then the power lifters normally when they say they can do something, they can do it because they have to do it in front of a crowd. It's not like I've had a lot of guys used to train with over the years, you train with them and they wouldn't go super heavy, but then you don't train with them for a while, you don't have a few workouts. How you go, how's your workout going? Great man, I went heavy though, I benched this much. You're thinking, we well, you never ever benched that when you're with me, but when you're never around, they always have these miraculous lifts. So, but whenever you go train them again, oh, I'm a little bit sore today, a bit injured. I can't do it today. So, I think it's just one of those things. The majority of people like to exaggerate or bullshit when it comes to bodybuilding and stuff. So, but I wouldn't say like one's a bigger bullshit over there because most most guys I was around, like Paul Delette, he was a big guy, so he didn't have to bullshit about anything. But sometimes it's the smaller ones who want to have a. I think it's more amateurs than anything because you know I see guys in the gym and. They're like my arm's 20 inches, I like, I've seen a lot of 20 inch arms, your arm ain't 20 inches, you know. Arnold's, I think he said his best was around 20, 21 half the time, you know, and some guys I've seen whose arms are 18, 19, like Robbie Robinson sometimes, or Albert Beckles, if they've got a high peak in shape, because you can have guys who have a great bicep, but the triceps are flat. If you've got the complete arm where the bicep's peaked and the tricep hangs, I've seen guys with arms that are only 18, 19, but they look 22, so it's all about shape and yeah. the symmetry and 
you know, definition, an arm can look a lot bigger. I've seen guys that do have probably 17 inch arms, but in contest shape, when you see like the lines in between the bicep, the triceps out here, you can see the definition on the brachialis and that, their arm can look like it's 20 inches and it's only 17. So like I said, it's all an illusion. So there's really no need to lie. I remember when I was at the universe this year, I knew my arms were a little over 21. People were like, how big your arms are? Like, how big they looked like, oh, 23. I'm like, you got it. So I was <laughs> like, hey, they said I look 23. I don't want to say they're 21 and bring them down two inches. So like I said, it's just all an illusion. So there's no need to lie about anything. Just tell them what it is. So but I guess people always think bigger is going to be better. Like I said, but then if someone goes, really? And they pull out a tape measure, watch the excuses come out then. Oh, well, it's not pumped, then it's not this, it's not that. So yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> All right, well, sounds like we'll have to um, make a few modifications next to that tape go, measure. Next time you go to a FIBO, take your tape measure with you and say to a guy, how big are your arms when he says 21? Say, can I measure it? Yeah. For YouTube and the fans, you'll be like, oh, no, nah, no. Nah. You watch him back off really quick. <laughs>